welcome to our kitchen. For those of you that are new to the channel, welcome. Hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell down there in the corner so you're notified of new videos. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Good to have you. I want to start off first with thanking everyone for the uh, the thoughts and the prayers for Dan. Um, he still has to see the cardiologist yet. That's on the 13th. But um, he has already taken some steps towards helping himself out. He's quit smoking already. And he's eating healthier, which is our term means not as much, if really any, red meat. Um, if we do have it, it's like a one-time thing, and if it's not gone, it's gone. Because that's one thing that he's avoiding a lot of. So tonight, we are making stuffed peppers, taco stuffed peppers. Healthy taco stuffed peppers. So let's get started here. What I have over here, what I have is I have one pound of ground turkey that I've browned with some onion and some garlic. And to this, I am going to add a little bit of taco sauce. And just a little. You just want the taste in there. Because we're going to add taco seasoning to here in a little bit. Try to get everybody coated with that. And I'm also going to add a little bit of lime juice. Because, hey, what's a taco without lime? It does look good. Mm -hmm. That even smells good. I mean, if you didn't know that was turkey. Getting you, used to the ground turkeys, it, yeah. it's... It's hard to get used to, but... Now to this, I'm going to add one can of drained and rinsed black beans and one cup of frozen corn. You're going to get vegetables in every bite, pretty much. I don't know what it looks like. I love them. I always have. And we're going to add our taco seasoning on here. But we're not done yet adding to this. You get one more vegetable in this. Yeah? Yeah. Because we're also going to add one cup of riced cauliflower, which I never even had heard of until my boss told me about this. So... I love cauliflower, so this is going to be Oh, I like cauliflower, too. I mean, I've never heard of it like this, though. That'd be a very healthy alternative to rice. Yeah. And, I mean, some recipes I've seen about, like this online, call for brown rice and that. And maybe you're not a brown rice I fan. Know. But if you can't eat the white rice either, this, like you said, is the healthier alternative to it. Mm -hmm. I do like brown rice though. That does look good. Mm. It's going to be very filling. So we're going to turn that burner off. 
where I come over here. I'll put stuff down. And in here we have our three bell peppers cut and ready. I took the ribs out, took all the seeds out. That seems like a lot of meat to fill those. Well, they're big peppers. This part here, you may not want to eat the stem part, but, you know, I know how you are at times, too. <laughs> but you have been doing pretty good. You have. Watching everything you eat and controlling your smoking and everything. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper jack cheese in here also. And pepper jack. It's a white cheese. It's a little healthier. Save some for on the top. I've had zero fat today in anything I've eaten. So. Awesome. Awesome. Good. See? I'm proud of you. And you ain't gonna get rid of me that fast. No, well, I ain't ready to get rid of you yet. You haven't told me where the money is hidden. I ain't going to. That way you'll keep feeding me healthy. Okay, so I take it that means the oven is ready, but what we're going to do right now is stuff our peppers. And you want to get it down in there. Get it loaded. Now, I've had peppers stuffed with black beans and corn, but never with turkey. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I've never done them with turkey. If anybody out there ever has done it with turkey, you know, leave a comment down below how you thought it, or what you thought of it. See, even though it seems like it's a lot, there's cavities down underneath what pieces of the ribbing may still be in there. No. And you want to get that loaded. You want to get that all loaded up. And I don't know what it is. I've always noticed this with the tri-colored peppers. Mm -hmm. Like, your red and yellow are usually smaller. But these orange ones are always huge. There, I used to know what the difference is. I think the green's a little more bitter, and the color ones are a little more sweeter, I think. We're going with that because that's what's in my brain. I don't know if that has to do with the size of them, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Needs more room for this sugar. Bitter things are small. That's why I'm short. That's why you're okay. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, dear. Now, do we add more of that? Um, taco sauce on, or is that an after it comes out? Yes, of the we oven? will be putting a little more of the taco sauce on them before they go in the oven. Um, and you can probably even add it afterwards. Um, they suggest using, you know, sour cream afterwards, also on top of it. But well, you could. But fat free, and I don't mind cooking healthier for you. But oh my god, I don't want to be eating fat free sour cream. So, right, we're just gonna do with the fact that it's sour cream. creamless. Yeah, sour creamless. <clears throat> We could do another pepper tomorrow. 
Well, I don't know if all six of these are going to disappear by tomorrow, but if we have to, we can always package this stuff up, put and freeze it, freeze it, and then if we want to do stuff peppers again, yeah, at least you have a third of it, or if we have enough maybe for two or three one night, we just do that instead of six. Yeah. going to do now, again, just like when we were cooking them, I'm going to add just a little more of a splash of lime across the tops. I'm hungry. I'm probably going to eat two tonight. One for lunch tomorrow. No, you you got to eat in portions. It's portions. Vegetables. A little bit more the taco sauce across it. That got a lot more taco sauce. And it's mine. <laughs> and we're going to put some cheese on top of this. See the little cheese cleaner upper coming around the corner here. You doing Apollo? You gonna get some cheese? Yeah, I figured though, pepper jack with tacos. That would be a fitting mix. And if you don't have chicken broth, you could probably use bouillon, but not a full bouillon cube. They are loaded with sodium. So you might want to like cut it in half and use only half of that. But with that all done there, I'm going to put some oil on top of this. into a 350 oven for 45 minutes. We'll be right back. Alright, 45 minutes is gone. Take that off. Oh my god, does that smell good. Mm. So, back in. To let the cheese get a little bit brown for 10 minutes. We'll be back. All right. So we're going to plate these babies up. Come right back. We're going to try them. All right. Now it's the time to sample this. And this here. No metric. Very good. Very good. A lot of nice flavors in there. It does. It tastes like a taco. Yeah. Very good. Honey. And you don't really notice the cauliflower rice or anything. <laughs> so there you go. A healthy way to still have a stuffed pepper and take care of your heart in the meantime. So give this recipe a try. 
Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. And as always, for Dan, the boys, and I, have a good night. We'll see you in the next video.